Hi there, in this video I'm going to be talking about what happens when two variables which we include in our regression are highly multicollinear. So this is slightly different to, when, to the example of when we have perfect collinearity amongst regressors. That means that sort of variable x exactly determines, or variable x1 exactly determines variable x2. So if I was to sort of draw a graph of x1 against x2, perhaps there would be some sort of exact linear relationship between them. Um, note that it doesn't have to be exactly linear. It could be um, exactly sort of a polynomial, so it could be some sort of curve. But the idea is that if I know x1, I know x2 exactly. So that's the example of perfect collinearity. Here I'm talking about what happens if x1 and x2 are both sort of highly correlated with one another and we think that both of them are important in influencing a dependent variable. So here we've got some sort of correlation or positive correlation between x1 and x2. How does that affect our ability to disentangle one's effect from the other when we estimate some sort of dependent variable y or we estimate some regression which includes an independent variable y? So this is probably best illustrated by means of an example. So let's say we were interested in determining um, the factors which affect a given company's um, level of sales across time. So let's say that company sales followed some sort of pattern like that um, across time. And let's say we were in interested specifically in finding out how uh, a company's level of TV advertising, which I'm indicating here with these sort of red bars, um, affect sales and also they were interested in how the sort of level of radio advertising affects um, a company's sales across time and I'm going to illustrate that by these sort of blue bars here um, and notice here that um, I've tried to indicate um, that even though these things are completely coincident with one another the sort of weighting or the relative spend on TV and radio advertising sort of varies slightly so if we were to sort of think about a graph of TV advertising spend against sort of radio advertising spend, then they would be sort of highly correlated, although they won't be exactly correlated with one another. So it's something like this sort of relationship here. So there is some sort of degree of positive correlation with one another. So what effect does that actually have on our sort of ability to determine one's effect from, from the other when we estimate our regression? So let's say we estimate our sort of regression, which has company sales as the dependent variable and has each of these variables, so the level of TV advertising and the level of radio advertising as independent variables in our regression. Well, the problem here is going to be that it's going to be very difficult for least squares or any other technique really to disentangle TV's effect from radio's effect. So how is that going to manifest? Well, in our least squared estimates of beta 1 and beta 2, we will actually find that even though we might have a high R squared for our regression, so we might, let's say, have an R squared value which was equal to um, 0.9. So that means that our model might explain 90% of the variance in the company sales over time. We might find that individually, TV or radio was on their own statistically insignificant. So let's just say that again. We have found that even though our model is together and um, well, together the effects of TV advertising and radio advertising are sort of quite good in explaining the variance in company sales over time, we might find that statistically we cannot conclude that individually these two things have an um, effect on company sales over time. So that's how it kind of manifests in our model. Um, but the intuition is that essentially if I include both of these things in my model, my beta 1 and beta 2 are going to be have this sort of huge standard errors because these two things are so collinear with one another, which means it's going to be very difficult to determine accurately what the effect of TV advertising is and what the effect of radio advertising is. In a sense, we haven't made a very good experiment here because of the fact that 
we have got TV advertising and radio advertising being very correlated with one another. We don't really have a control region whereby, let's say, we have some sort of TV happening on its own or we have some radio happening on its own as well. So it's very difficult for us to disentangle the effect of TV from radio.